Hello, I'm Dr. Griffin. I'm the inventor of this new electrolysis process and president and CEO of the Global Hydrogen Incorporated. What we have is an electrolysis process that uses three electrodes. We have two um, metallic and non-metallic electrodes. One is always positive and the other one is always negative. In the center we have a graphite electrode and the graphite electrode is switched from positive to negative. So the uh, gases are produced off the electrodes sequentially. The electrolyte is a proprietary, uh, has a proprietary catalyst and it's a sodium hydroxide to potassium hydroxide or a base uh, electrolyte. The system will run down to 0 0.08 volts and it's about 95% efficient producing um, hydrogen at 41.2 kilowatt hours per kilogram. The system right now is running at 1.2 volts and you can see that we've uh, got a nice production of hydrogen and oxygen coming off of both electrodes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, pull up the uh, voltage curve on the uh, computer and we'll be able to uh, see what's actually happening with the voltage. You'll look at the lower left hand corner of the uh, graph, you'll see that we're running at 1.2 volts. The uh, voltage line is hard to see but it's, it's right there at 1.2 volts and this is below the theoretical minimum that Faraday states, which is 1.23 volts. Our efficiency at 1.2 volts is above 90%. But we're going to change over to a current curve, and uh, you can see that we're running at uh, 130 milliamps, this is a square wave, but because of the polarity shift, it looks a little bit funny. So we're going to increase the voltage to 1.4 volts, which is still below what you would expect hydrogen to uh, be produced at and uh, we're going to show you the increased production of hydrogen and oxygen on the uh, small cell. This is a small sidearm flask. We decided to run the reaction in this where you could better see what's going on. Now we, what we're going to do now is increase the frequency of the pulse and uh, you'll see a large increase in hydrogen production. We also increase the voltage up to about 1.5 volts, which is still way below what you would expect hydrogen to be produced at. Very interesting chemistry.